Right, so D and E on yesterday's worksheet. Um, so tell me some things you know looking at this graph of F prime. Okay, F is always increasing because F prime is always positive. Although something's going on here. What's going on there? couple things going on. F, F prime equals zero. So that means F has a horizontal tangent line there. So I've got to always be increasing but have a horizontal tangent line. So let's see, what about concavity? That's the other thing we look for. F prime is decreasing. What does that mean about F double prime? If F prime is decreasing, then F double prime, well, you answered toward the next question. F double prime is negative, which means F is concave down on the right side, on the, or excuse me, on the left side. On the right side, all of that stuff is backwards. F prime is increasing, which means F double prime is positive, which means F is concave up. All those things fit together. So on this side, I need to be increasing, because it's always increasing, but concave down. On the other side, I need to be increasing, but concave up. And it's got to be flat there in the middle. So wherever wherever we pick to cross the y-axis, it needs to flatten out right there. So it looks a lot like uh, question C or number C or part C or however we phrase that. But that I guess that makes sense because for us, for now, those two are pretty similar, right? I mean, it's, that's a I mean, yeah, one's curved and one's straight, but we don't know enough to differentiate between those two. So it makes sense that C and D would look pretty similar. All right, let's do E. Yeah, lots of stuff going on in, in E. Um, so let's, let's figure out these kind of key points here. Or I guess we can call them critical points because F prime is zero. F prime equals zero. Um, what about max and min, or neither, at x equals two? What's going on there? Is that a relative max or a relative min? Max. Why is it a max? Right, F prime changes increasing to decreasing. So I've got a relative max at two, and then a relative min at zero. And let's see, it increases. F prime is positive, so F increases from zero to two. F is decreasing from two on and up to zero, F is decreasing. Okay, that, that fits with having a, a min and a max though, right? So we're going to increase and then decrease and then increase. So that's, that's pretty rough right there because I haven't talked about concavity. So where F prime is increasing, that means we are concave up. So I need to be concave up, up to one. And then, how many colors I got left here? On the other side, we'll, F will be concave down. Oh, can't read that. That's okay. Concave down. So, 
kind of go with my rough draft here. I'm going to concave up through all of that. Concave down through all of that. So I think I've roughly sketched my picture there. Wait, I did that completely backwards, didn't I? I need to be decreasing, increasing, decreasing, concave up, and then concave down. There we go. So I've got a min at x equals 0. I don't know where it is. A max at x equals 2. So I'm just putting the min kind of low and the max kind of high. And there's an inflection point at x equals 1. So somewhere in there will change concavity. So decreasing all the way to 0 but concave up. Increasing to 1, still concave up. At 1, we flip our concavity. We're still increasing, but now we've flipped over, bold down. We get the 2. That was a relative max. We changed from increasing to decreasing. We're still concave down. And so roughly, that's what the picture looks like. Again, we didn't know exactly where the, any of these points were. So as long as your picture looks like that and you've got a, a max at 2 and a min at 0 and your concavity looks right, you'd be okay for those. We don't quite know enough to get the graph exact on those.